What's up, everybody? It's your boy Benzilla back here again, um, doing some work on the Sphinx. Uh, so I decided that my old seat uh, for the bobber, which was this flimsy piece of crap that's already bent and jagged up or whatever, uh, I decided that I didn't like it and I wanted to, I really wanted to use my four inch springs, which you see right here. And I wanted to kind of have a have more access to this, so it didn't. I mean, I'll figure out how to cover that eventually, but you can see right here all the wires and stuff. So I wanted to kind of make a bracket to go on. So I did. I got. I ordered these uh, bungs, not bungs. These are uh, seat posts. Seat posts. So I could fabricate like a little bracket slash bar thing that I'm gonna make out of the, this uh, 12 inch uh, steel pipe that I bought from Home Depot. I'm gonna cut cut two inches off of it and then kind of flange, flange it. So like cut some flanges around this area so that it sits on the frame and I'm gonna weld it to it and then I'm gonna weld the seat post to that so that those uh, new springs don't slip. So we'll see how that turns out. All right. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully you guys can see me. I don't know if it's straight. Straight enough. I'm gonna just cut about one inch off of the off the end of the pipe here. That was a pretty good job. First one could have been a little bit better. But, uh, and now what I want to do is set this up so I can measure where I want to put the flanges so that it sits right on the, uh, the frame post right here. A little bit behind where the shock mount is. So probably right there. And then these can fold down onto the post that I put on. So let's see what happens. All right, so I cut the, the bar to the length that I want. So it's got the little flanges there. And it sits pretty good, but I still don't like how high the seat sits if I do it that way. So as you can see, the seat sits pretty high. It looks hella goofy. Uh, so what I might end up doing is taking the seat Pushing that little bracket a little bit forward, that it sits on the little tongue bracket, and then taking the springs and bending them back a little bit so that the bar is where it, like stays where it's at, but the springs kind of flex backwards like this. Uh, I don't know yet, but we'll figure it out. So there's a the bracket right there. Just finish uh, welding it on. Well, just kind of a tack weld for right now, and. I'm gonna probably shorten these or cut these off, but I just wanted to have this on here for right now, just in case I didn't have enough uh, metal to weld with. And so right now, I'm just gonna kind of fake put these here for now. Sorry, hold on. I gotta, I gotta take the tongue back, but. So you see where it's like, so you see how high it is. There's like a crack ton of space down there. So I don't like that. Um, so I'm gonna fix that. But for the most part, it looks like it's gonna work. Focus. Yeah, for the most part, it looks like it's gonna work. And we'll see what happens after this. So nothing set in stone. I decided to take those springs off because 
they were just way too high. And even this is still a little higher than I want, but um, it gives me a, enough room to fashion a little plate underneath there so that I can hide all the wires. And we'll see what happens after that. But I think I like this a lot better. I'll just get some shorter uh, brass springs or chromes. Uh, well, actually I want brass because this, this is gonna be a black and gold bike. So it just looks better against that brown. But I think I'm gonna stick with this for now until I can uh, really settle on an idea of how I want it to really sit. But um, this will probably give me a lot more comfortable ride than, than that flimsy plate, whatever that is. So. I'm gonna do with that right now, and uh, we're gonna leave it at that. There you go. Did a little rattle can spray on it. Uh, the welds aren't the prettiest welds, but you know they'll work for me. Um, this is this isn't gonna be a, a trailer bike or a show bike or anything like that. It's just this is a fun bike that I built to ride. My first project um, bike, so uh, I'm happy with it so far. Um, it's, it's nice, man. Everything fits really well. The uh, the springs sit on the on the post really good, um, but it's it's still a little higher than I want. But uh, I'll live with that. It's probably gonna take a little while to break it in and bust it down. Um, also, was working on the wire covering plate that I want to make, uh, and I think I'm gonna take. I am gonna take the old uh, plate that came with this the bracket, and uh, I'm gonna cut that little bend off and just sit it right here and figure out some way to fasten it right there so it covers my wires and stuff and sits nice and flush and uh what i might do is like maybe weld a hinge onto here and weld a hinge uh plate on here so that i can just lift it up with the bike or with the seat and um then i can get to my wires and everything like that but once i get that all done i think i'm also going to leave these posts on because i, I want to fashion some side plates or some side covers and maybe I can use that as like my support hook or you know just to latch it on there and then figure out how to screw it all down here or get whatever I want down there to both sides other than that I'm taking the uh, fender and the sissy bar off the tank off and taking the uh, front fender down to my boy to paint at man's restoration uh, if you guys don't know about man's auto body and restoration man they are dope. Uh, you definitely got to check them out. Um, once you, if you get down to Festus, Missouri, or just just Google them, man. They got a bunch of Barris cars up in there. It's beautiful in there. All those cars on there are amazing. Some of them for sale. You guys might want to check it out. Uh, shout out to my boy, Jeremy Pruno, JP, Big Prune. Um, the man is a beast with a, sp with a sprayer. Uh, his paint game is ridiculous. He's done a couple of cars for SEMA. Uh, he's done a lot of Barrett Jackson cars. And uh, you guys just got to check him out, man. Shout out to Mans. Shout out to uh, TJ Brutal for giving me some pointers. Uh, shout out to uh, TC Bros for for the uh, the post, the, the uh, sissy bar. Uh, shout out to Dyna Jet for the jet for the car. Just everybody came in for the filters. Um, I'm not, this video is not sponsored either, so don't, you know, I'm not saying throwing these names out here just to get, you know, brands or whatever. I, I use hand tools, Milwaukee, I use Amazon, eBay, all the stuff that's on this bike, it's just like budget stuff, man. Um, if you guys are trying to get into it, it's really not that hard. You just need to find a place, some time, uh, which COVID has given us plenty of time right now, um, and just put some work in. I'm really happy how this bike is turning out, um, and I'm hoping that my next project is going to be a Harley build. Um, I think I want to do a bobber Harley build or some sort of bagger, but I ain't, you know, I'm not good with the fiber fiberglass, so we'll see how that works out. Um, other than that, man, I'm gonna keep building my C10. I'm gonna keep working on my razor's edge over there, and. Uh, We'll see, man. I'm going to get on out of here, put this bike in the seat, track it to the test, and maybe do some moto vlogging. Until the out, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Peace.